everyone, I'm Malia and I'm a librarian with the National Library Board. Today, I'll be sharing with you a genre of picture books called Contemporary Realistic Fiction. What is Contemporary Realistic Fiction? To put it simply, characters in these stories experience things that children may also face in real life. By reading these stories, they discover realistic solutions to relatable problems. Such stories are also a good way to discuss problems children face in a lighter and indirect way. One way to share this genre is to prepare talking points to discuss with the children later on. This helps children develop their narrative skills as they describe their views and share their experiences with you. Sounds exciting? Here are some books with everyday scenarios that you can share with the children. For the first book, I'm sure you can guess the theme right from the title. The story Be Kind follows a girl who tries to figure out how to be kind to a classmate Tanisha who is embarrassed from spilling grape juice all over her dress. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? Spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Discuss with the children about what would they have done if they were in the girl's shoes. Kindness may be an abstract concept for young children, but this story makes it easy to understand by suggesting everyday actions for them to show kindness, like saying, Thank you! More importantly, it encourages children to do what they can do to be kind and reminds them that small acts of kindness matter. For stories about family, a book I would recommend is The New Small Person. Alma Green has enjoyed being the only child until a new sibling arrives. Written from a child's point of view and in a childlike manner, children will surely be able to relate to Alma and his frustrations. In the story, Alma gets jealous when people give more attention to his brother. He is also unhappy that his brother messes with his things. Ask the children if they have felt jealous and sad before. How did they overcome those feelings? Then, discuss how they can help Alma adapt to having a new sibling in his life. I like how the pages have a lot of white space so that children can focus on illustrations. I also like how some of the texts are playfully positioned to follow the pattern of the objects in the story. This story assures children that changes in life are okay and could even be fun. Next, I'd like to recommend Georgie's Best Bad Day. This is a story about Georgie who wakes up on the wrong side of the bed one day. Ask your children when was the last time they had a bad day and what they did to cheer themselves up. The story begins by assuring children that having a bad day is perfectly normal. This is comforting for children who have experienced bad days. It also encourages children to find ways to improve their mood when they're feeling down. Just like how the characters work together to cheer themselves up even though they mess up sometimes. The positive and funny tone of this story will also help cheer up children having a bad day. It reminds children that sometimes they can laugh away their bad days. Next, milestones can bring about a jumble of feelings in children. In Lena's shoes are nervous, a first day of school dilemma, Lena is absolutely excited to start school. But hmm, there is something more nervous than her. And that's her shoes. This page shows some of the items needed for school. I like how the objects mentioned in the text are highlighted in colour, while the rest of the objects are in black and white. This helps children focus on the items mentioned. You can ask your children what they usually bring to school. They can even do a show and tell. In this part of the story, Lena and her dad work together to find a solution for the problem with her shoes. Similarly, you can assure children that they're not alone when they go through a difficult time and that they can actively overcome it. This story is definitely suitable for large group storytelling as the illustrations are quite big. For our final book recommendation, we have Giraffe Problems. Even if the main characters are animals, the story tackles the topic of self-love in a humorous and heartwarming way that children can still relate to. Before you begin the story, ask your children what they love and least like about themselves. Encourage them to think whether there's a way for them to improve what they least like about themselves or if they should learn to embrace it. 
in this story, Giraffe hates his neck. He thinks that it's too long, too bendy, too narrow, and even too patterned. In his words, it is simply too necky. He tries many ways to hide his neck and in many places, like covering up with scarves, hiding amongst trees, or even in the river. Together with the witty choice of words, children will be sure to enjoy Giraffe and his funny antics. Always choose books that can make learning fun for children. By the end of the story, children will learn that perhaps there's something good out of something that they dislike. Help children develop self-confidence by encouraging them to have a positive self-image. I hope that you enjoyed these stories. Have fun sharing them with your children. See you around in our libraries!